Every project that Sacred Earth Solar puts up is personal and it's relational, but this project really lies very close to home because my family has a murder and missing Indigenous women where my sister's case is still unsolved. And we've had a close relationship as a family with No More Silence for over a decade. So it's been a really long road to get here, but we have our Hummingbird Healing Lodge and it has been an incredible past six, seven months of sweats with community members who have really had incredible experiences here. We want to prioritize uh, trans two-spirit people, people with disabilities, obviously that's part of our mandate is to, ex to be able to access them. And getting back to the, re the reason why No More Silence was started in the first place, to provide healing and respite for the families of the missing and murdered. As a murdered and missing Indigenous family member, I've attended the lodge myself and it felt like it was very prioritized for that. I witnessed the importance of the project a few months ago when there was a sweat for Melina and her family and I was really surrounded around healing for the family and right then I saw what this lodge does and it was really special to see a family be brought that healing. Over the last I'd say six or more months Sacred Earth Solar worked along No More Silence to create a solar system on their Hummingbird Healing Lodge. Building that array has been a fantastic experience. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> For the months we worked with solar contractors to put in a solar PV system, as well as wire the entire bunkie that we're currently in right now with electricity. It looks fantastic. Um, since we, we had to cut down a couple of trees in the front yard, but since that's been done, whenever it's sunny, that solar array has pumped out in five days more energy than my house uses in a month. So one of the best things about our lodge is that it's accessible to people in a wheelchair, and we've already proven that with having a, a special accessible sweat in which we had a person who um, was blind. Wanda gets, we put Wanda in on a ramp. She's able to take her wheelchair in and conduct the sweat right, right inside the sweat lodge. Bringing back ceremonial spaces has been a really heavy lift for many communities because it was literally illegal in Canada to have these spaces and places. So Sacred Earth Solar thinks it's a major priority for communities to implement healing justice within our organizations, within our communities, within our nations. I really find it so special that uh, this space uh, in the closest reserve to Toronto can be accessible for 2S LGBTQ+, for persons with disabilities, for Indigenous peoples from urban centres. My own family um, were urban and Indigenous homeless people in Toronto and I think something like this would have completely changed their lives to have this access to healing. And so, yeah, I really, it's really special to see that we are breaking down those barriers. No More Silence is breaking down those barriers and providing ceremony for people who need it the most. Communities are protecting their homelands, they're saving seeds, they're bringing back ceremony, they're revitalizing languages, they are literally fighting the impacts of environmental degradation and climate change all at the same time. So with the capacity that Sacred Earth Solar has to, and the knowledge that we have to be able to build projects and be able to build solar installations where communities have light, power, heating, electricity, to be able to be on their homelands in their traditional territories but still have the technology to be able to be in spaces where they're warm, where they feel held and where they feel loved and they feel comfort and they can heal and they can protect and they can revitalize. Wow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs>
Yeah, we cannot the game right. Uh, yeah. To move it over a bit. Yeah, I can. No. My little 